Today, I want to answer the question, when is the best time to sell a home? Which is a common question that we get from a lot of different people. So we're going to answer that today. You know, this is ultimately an interesting question because it really is a bit arbitrary. Yes, there are more home buyers looking to purchase in the summer. So rationally, we would believe that selling in the summer is a better bet. However, there's also more competition in the seller in the summer too, right? So yes, increased demand in the summer, but also increased supply. So how much of an advantage is selling in the warmer months? You know, and that's really hard to say. It depends on your house, your location, your price point, everything factors in. Now, all things being equal, I'm not a huge proponent of selling in the summer because, quote unquote, the market will be better. However, there is absolutely a difference in buyers' emotional states when they come to look at your house when it's the summertime. The days are longer, it's warmer, you can drive with your windows down, wear flip flops, school is out, etc. And that just leads to an overall increase in better attitudes. And therefore, it's likely the buyer will be in a better mood, which hopefully means a better opportunity to negotiate if you're the seller. Now, on the flip side, when it's freezing cold out and the sun goes down at five and everyone goes to work in the dark and get home at, gets home in the dark, the average person's less excited and maybe a slightly tougher buyer to work with. So yeah, there is an advantage to selling in the warmer months, right? It might be a slight one, but I do think there's a, a slight advantage of doing that because buyers make emotional and rational decisions. If their emotions are already good and high, that's a good thing. It's a little bit easier for you to sell. If they're low and they're frustrated or they're just you know sad that it, it gets dark and it's cold, it might be a little bit harder. So if you live in an area that experiences all four seasons like we do in Southeast Virginia, then it is wise to avoid putting your house on the market around the colder months, especially if you think snow is coming. For those of us in Southeast Virginia, a good snow is going to shut us down for many days or weeks. So putting your home on the market, then getting snow and missing out on your first two weeks of showing certainly is not helpful. For us and my team, if we believe that snow might be coming or we're in the months when snow is possible, we would often recommend getting the home ready to go on the market, take the pictures so we're all ready to go, then just watch the weather and do our best to be strategic with that timing. Now, of course, no one knows exactly what is coming, but attempting to avoid going on the market only for the city to shut down is just not, uh, or, or excuse me, attempting to avoid going on the market only for the city to shut down it's just not good sense, right? We're going to try to avoid everything being shut down. And so we want to try to be careful with that. Now, ultimately, my advice to people is always move when it's best for your family. You know, are there real advantages depending on the season? Maybe, but remember, it's very uncommon to sell high and then buy low. So whatever season you're in, if your home will sell for a lot, you're probably also going to pay a lot for your new home. Or if your home home's value is somewhat low, then you'll likely buy low as well. So do what's right for you. You know, hire a real estate professional you can trust, put together a game plan with them to maximize your home value no matter the season and then make the move. If you're in Southeast Virginia, we'd love to help. Reach out to us at maroongroupva.com.